Hi, I'm Eric Kai, the chemical statistician, and today I'm going to show you some interesting and useful mathematical relationships between any two of the quantities in this equation. This equation says that the hazard function is equal to the probability density function divided by the survival function. In an earlier video, I introduced the definition of the hazard function for continuous survival data in the context of survival analysis. And in a follow-up video to that, I showed how the definition of the hazard function can lead to this relationship. So if you haven't watched those two videos yet, I encourage you to do that first. Now let's start with the relationships between the PDF and the survival function, because I think that those are the easiest. So we know that, I'm going to use this pen instead, we know that f of t is equal to the first derivative of the CDF. But that, of course, is just the first derivative of 1 minus the survival function. So we can conclude that f of t is equal to negative d by dt of s of t. those lines nice and thick for you to see them. Okay. Now, let's go the other way. Let's write S of t as a function of the PDF. So, we know that S of t is equal to 1 minus f of t, the CDF, and that is equal to 1 minus the integral of f of s ds from negative infinity to t. And you may be tempted to just, to just stop here, and that's fine, but I want you to realize that the integral of the PDF over negative infinity to positive infinity, as in over uh, the entire real line, is equal to 1. So we can rewrite this as the difference between two integrals with the same integrand. So the, sur the survival function is simply the PDF, the integral of the PDF from t to positive infinity. So, we know that f of t is equal to negative d by dt of s of t, and we know that s of t is equal to the integral of the PDF from t to positive infinity. Okay, so those are our two first two relationships. Let's now move on to the relationships between S of t and H of t. So, we know that H of t is equal to the PDF divided by the survival function, but we just learned how to write F of t as a function of S of t. So we can substitute this with this. Now, if you remember from differential calculus, you should recognize that this is equal to
negative of the first derivative of the natural logarithm of the survival function. Okay, so that makes it even more compact. Now let's go the other way. Let's write s of t as a function of the hazard function. So we'll move the negative sign over to the left. We're going to integrate, and then we're going to exponentiate. So let's let's uh, do this first. So we're going to go from negative infinity to t of h of s ds. That's equal to the natural logarithm of s of t. So then now we can exponentiate. So e to the power of this integral is equal to s of t. Okay, so those are the two relationships between s of t and h of t. Let's finally conclude with the two relationships between the hazard function and the PDF. So let me rewrite that original equation as the product of the hazard function and the survival function. That's our PDF. Okay. Now we just learned how to write s of t as a function of h of t. So this is just equal to h of t times e to that integral. Okay? Now, let's write h of t as a function of f of t. So we know that h of t is equal to f of t divided by s of t. And s of t is equal to that integral down there. And there we have it. We now have six relationships. And these six relationships come from any pair of the quantities that you see in this equation. As always, I encourage you to visit my blog, The Chemical Statistician, to get your in-depth tutorials and short lessons on statistics, chemistry, machine learning, and math. And I also encourage you to follow me on Twitter at ChemStatEric. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you learned something useful today.